Today I have got a rather ambitious project in mind and this is to cut open this compressor um, and rewind the motor um, into a 24 volt 3 phase one. I don't know if this will be possible or, or not, um, it will be very difficult anyway. Um, I'm just using this old um, junk compressor that um, I've removed all the oil from and I've flushed it out with cleaning solvent as well. I didn't really have a starter for it either. So once I've cut it open I'll take the motor out and then once I've finished, if I do actually finish this, I will uh, I'll have to MIG weld it shut again. Um, but I'm just not that sure where to cut. Um, well, the best way to cut, best place is just right above the weld. Now this compressor is quite unusual in that uh, it doesn't seem to be able to output a very high sort of pressure. If you cover up the end, it does really slow down and struggle um, much more than the other compressors that I've encountered. So. It's just an old R600A one, so I'll get this cut open using a hacksaw. I've done it before. I've cut a compressor um, slightly bigger than this open once with a junior hacksaw. And that's what happened to it. But I managed. So I have just got it on the vise and I'm cutting around it with the hacksaw. Um, a bigger one. Well, what an unusual little compressor this is inside. Um, it's got the sort of funny connecting rod arrangement there. Um, it's quite a strange configuration. Um, I've seen it in other videos. But looking at the motor, um, it may be possible to rewind it, I don't know, because as you can see some of the slots are bigger than others because it is a single phase motor. Though I still might be able to do something with it. Uh, or or even I may, I may be able to, to just replace the motor completely, I don't know. The only issue is with replacing the whole motor, that means that the rotor must go as well. And how am I going to be able to lubricate it? Because these are lubricated by um, by a hollow rotor, there's actually a hole that goes right through it. Got another an example of that. This came out of another one. I just use this for casting lead and then I just twist it and then the piston pushes out the ingot. Well, it's a hole that goes straight through the middle of the rotor. So you cannot just put any motor in it. You're going to have to try and rewind the existing one, which I'm going to try and do. I may even be able to recycle all that copper, I don't know. So that's basically how it works. Quite an unusual head that it's got on it though. But it is a newer compressor so uh, I'll probably I'll have even more weirder and wonderful designs to save costs. The high pressure discharge line will need to be cut as well obviously but I can solder that back together quite easily. So here is a, a brushless DC motor. It just has three wires coming out of it, um, and it's three phase with its controller. This is th um, three contacts too, but you can't just put three phase power into this because it's a um, single phase motor, so it needs to be rewound. And I'll still be able to just use these contacts here um, because inside there'll be a connector. I'll just cut that off, and then after rewind the motor. I'm going to decide if I'm going to be able to do it or not, I'll be able to uh, just connect it up. Another issue is this is an induction motor, so 
uh, most normal controllers are for um, like this are for motors with um, magnets on the rotor so it will not run an induction motor unless the induction motor is under load as soon as it has no load on it it just uh, spins up quite fast and then it just uh, seems to lose the commutation and then it just um, shuts down I have never had a compressor come apart so easily it literally just lifted out after cutting the discharge line obviously and then the connector just pulled off in there and with it being open to the air it's kind of like it's corroded a little bit inside because uh, someone from leaving before my friend got to the fridge um, had stolen all the copper off it Let's a look at the little motor in there. And that's where it gets its lubrication from. Probably make one of these into a nice little steam engine as well. Well, I cannot get the stator off, and that is because um the windings on the other side are a little bit different, they sort of uh, are s sort of come over a bit more. See these are more spaced out but the other ones sort of come in over the front of the rotor. So I've no idea how to put these things together in the factory. I think the shaft and then the stator is all pressed together. And I think that's how it's done. So I'm going to have to cut all of that off to be able to get this thing open. Well it's a failed project because looking at it the difference in the size of the slots is just too big and it's really not going to be possible to wind that effectively. So um, I did cut the rotor off and it must be a they must uh, press it together um, for a really big press because there was no way I was able to get this apart uh, but it was uh, I suppose it was a, an idea to play with but um, in practice it's not really possible to convert a compressor to uh, low voltage three phase 